Hi everybody, it's Miss Rachel and Bovina. And we're from the Bedford Hills Free Library and we're here for story time. I hope that's why you're here. If you are, then please join me in the hello song. Ready? It's nice to say hello. 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 It's nice to say hello. Hola. Hello. And how are you? I'm fine. Me too. We're fine. And how are you? I'm fine. Me too. We're fine. And how are you? And you, and you, and you, and you. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. They're smiling. I think they're happy to be here. Yay. Okay, we sit here. And you come with me, Mr. Ukulele. I rhymed me and ukulele. And we'll do the other hello song where you clap your hands and we do other things. Okay, so start clap, 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 clap. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's clap our hands like this. Put it into our heads. That rhythm. Tap, 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 tap. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's tap our heads like this. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Tap, tap, tap. Mm. How about tap, tap to flap, flap? We're gonna flap our wings, our arms, like they're the wings of a bird. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's flap our wings like this. They're really your arms, but you're pretending. Flap, flap, flap. Or chicken wings. Flap, flap, flap. Ooh, and let's do your own thing. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I wonder what you're doing. All right, whatever it is, let's switch to jumping. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Jump up and down. Like this, jump, 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 and good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's sit and listen like this. Okay, I can tell you guys are all ready to listen to our story. And I didn't have you flapping, flapping like birds for no reason. Well, flap and tap rhyme, but I had birds on the brain because we are reading bird books today and thinking all about birds. And so the one I'm going to share with you is called Hooray for Birds. And it was written and illustrated by Lucy Cousins. She is the creator of Maisie. If you guys know Maisie the mouse, I think there's a TV show and lots and lots of books about her. But Lucy Cousins also made Hooray for Birds. I think she also has one, the Hooray for Fish or something about fish. But this is the bird one and I love, we're getting the idea just from these end papers, all the different kinds of birds there are. It's amazing how many different types of birds there are and they have different feather colors and patterns and some run and some hop and some fly. We mostly think about birds as flying, but there are some birds that just run super fast like the emu. Anyway, this book is for Gabriel, and it's called Hooray for Birds. That's a very tall bird. Can you imagine, just for one day, you are a busy bird? Yes, a bird! Hooray! We already started by, uh, by flapping our wings. Let's see other ways we can imagine being like a bird. Look at this guy with the long tail feathers. The sun is up, the sky is blue, wake up and shout, cock a doo, doo like a rooster. Now flap your wings and you can fly higher and higher up in the sky. Can you pretend to flap? Whoop. 
I don't know if you can see my arm. Woo, there it goes. How about this one? You can be graceful wings. Like I said before, they could be more like chicken wings. <laughs> it would be fun to fly, huh? Oh, and there's hop, 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 and peck, peck, peck. This is a woodpecker. He's chopping against the, the tree. You guys might hear that outside your house sometime. Hop, 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 and peck, peck, peck. Now swim along and stretch your, yep, your neck. This bird, a swan, is famous for having a very long, elegant neck. And since this is a rhyming book, neck rhymes with peck. We were doing the woodpecker before, peck, 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 and stretch your neck. Say, hello, darling. And then swoop like a starling. So a parrot is famous because he can learn how to imitate the words he hears. So if you teach a parrot how to say hello dar darling, he'll repeat back to you, hello darling, in a parrot voice. And a starling is another type of bird that does loop-de-loos. Now swoop up and down and swoop round and round. That's a fun word to say, swoop. And it sounds like what it is, like going round and around, swoop. Scratch the ground with your feet or catch a fly with your beak. Well, that's not such a great rhyme, actually, but it is some more information about how birds eat. Like, some birds find um, little bugs and worms and stuff by scratching the ground, and some birds fly around to catch them. Stand very tall on just one leg. Can you do that? It's hard to balance, but I bet you could try. This is called a flamingo. And he likes to stand on one leg. It's a very interesting kind of bird. Stand very tall on just one leg. Or say, cluck, cluck, and lay an, yeah, an egg. Good. Catch a wriggly snake and stretch out your wings. Open your beak and sing. Now we're gonna hear all different kinds of bird noises like tra la 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 and tweet 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 and mmm. Uh, that's I think supposed to represent a hummingbird. I don't know if it actually says if it actually hums or if that's referring to the sound that its wings make when it, it moves its wings very, very fast. So it makes a kind of a bzzz kind of sound, almost like a bumblebee. And cheep. Waddle like a penguin in the snow, or run like an ostrich. Go, go, go! So these are both types of birds that don't fly, right? Even though they're birds, they don't fly. A penguin waddles and an ostrich runs. Ooh, show off your tail and puff out your chest. You guys know what this one's called? Peacock, yeah. Beautiful, very, very um, eye-catching and just, what's the word? I don't know, almost magical tail feathers on a peacock. Then cuddle up close with your mama in your nest. Oh, that's sweet. Is that the last page? Nope, we have some nighttime birds. What a busy bird you've been. The funniest one I've ever seen. You began the day with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Now say good night. Oh, that makes sense. We end with the owl, a nighttime bird. That's the last page. And now we see all the birds asleep. That's funny. If you see the end papers from the beginning, here they are flying and smiling and, you know, being their happy awake selves and hear the same birds at night time. Good night.
Hooray for Birds by Lucy Cousins. So, boys and girls, I thought we could play a little game about birds. Um, let's see. So, this book showed us about all kinds of birds. Different shapes and sizes and color feathers and different ways they move and different ways they eat and all of that kind of stuff. So, I want to show you four birds that I have. And these are all different, too. And they're different because they have different shapes. So, these probably don't really look like real birds that you know, but they have a little beak to show you they're a bird, and each one is unique because it has a different shape and a different color, actually. For instance, here is a blue triangle and a green circle bird, a yellow oval bird, and a pink rectangle. So these are the four birds that I have, and we're going to use them for a game. I'm going to show you four other things. I'm going to show you four bird houses. Here's one, and two, three, and one more makes four. So I have four different bird houses. They look similar. The shape of the bird houses are all the same. They have these straight kind of square sides and a triangle roof. They all have that. Okay. But there's a few things that are different. They're different colors. And the openings where the birds can enter are all different shapes. There's one more to show you again. So similar but different. So for our game, we're going to try to decide which bird should live in which house. So let's start with this house. It's a lovely little bird house. Let me show you the birds again. These are our choices. Let's see. Let's see if this guy over here will feel at home at this house. Let's see. If it's a perfect fit. It just something's not quite right. Hmm. Let's think about this. This birdhouse is green. This birdhouse has a circle opening. Let's see if there's a bird from this page that might be a better fit. Do you see something? What do you see? We do have a green bird. Let's see. I'll take him. And he's a circle. Oh, the opening on this house is a circle. Maybe it will fit. Let's see. Tweet, 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 tweet. Yay! This bird is very happy to be in this house. I think he found the right house for him. Okay over here. Let's try another one. Hmm. How about this birdhouse? What can you tell me about this birdhouse? Yes, it has a triangle shape opening. One, two, three sides. One, two, three pointy angles. A triangle shape. Do we have a triangle bird? Let's see. You're right, we do have a triangle bird. One, two, three sides. One, two, three pointy angles. But are they the same color? Let's check. Blue bird house. <gasps> Blue bird. I think it might be a good fit. Let's see. <gasps> Yay! Tweet, 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 tweet. This bird is happy in his bird house. You helped find the perfect home. Yay! Number two, we have two bird houses left. We have one, two birds left. Let's take this guy on top. He is a rectangle. He has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. 
He's similar to a square, but his sides are not all exactly the same size. There's two long ones and two short ones. That means he's a rectangle. Do you remember if we had a house that looked just like this? Is it this one? No, they're not the same color and size. But, oh, hooray! A pink house that has a rectangle opening. Two long sides, two short sides, and one, two, three, four angles. Do you think it will be a good fit? Let's see. Ta-da! Tweet, 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 tweet! I think our bird sounds happy. He found the perfect home for him. I wonder, will that fit up here? Bobina, will you hold them up? Thank you, Bobina. We have one birdhouse left. We have one bird left. I hope this is a good match. What do you think? Yellow bird? Yellow house! It's looking good. What shape is this? Correct, it's an oval. An oval is round like a circle, but it's kind of stretched out. There's kind of some longer sides. It's not a perfect round ball. Just like our bird. Let's see. Ding, 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 ding. That means it's a good fit. Tweet, 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 tweet. It matches shape and it matches color and we found the perfect home for our last bird. So here we have our, oop, can I balance it? I'll just hold this one. One, two, three, four bird houses with their happy birds at home. Yay! Well, now I'm going to move these so I can take out Bovina for our goodbye song. Good job matching colors and shapes today. Bovina, are you proud of the kids? Oh yes, you are expert matchers with colors and shapes. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Shall we sing the goodbye song? Mm -hmm. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Glad you came, hope you had fun. I'll see you another day. We'll have more time to read and play. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Glad you came. Hope you had fun. Bye everybody.